family this is the velvet locks coming at you right now with a wonderful hair tutorial video now in this video I'm going to show you how to recreate this wonderful hair pompadour and it can be on any medium to long length locks for it to really come out looking nicely now to start off I'm going to be greasing my hair and scalp so that it will be more pliable as you can see I have different size locks so I'm just going to start off by moisturizing them. So I'm just moisturizing it with my growth oil as well as my rose water spritz just to make it more pliable. Okay, so we're about to begin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up uh, a portion of my bangs and pull it towards the front part of my hair because I'm going to use that to make that pompadour poof a lot more defined. Now once you've gathered or sectioned off the amount of hair that you're going to use, we're just going to simply loose braid that for now. Now I'm going to part my hair on each side using my fingers and I'm just going to gather up hair from both sides of my head. Okay so now I'm just going to gather up my hair from each side of my head and I'm trying to make it as neat as possible being that I have different size locks in between. Now the two sections that we sectioned off, we're going to try and neatly make a knot. So you're going to tie a knot with the two sections and you're going to bring them as far front as possible. Then you're going to also do a second knot on top of the first knot. And if you're able to make a third knot, make a third knot. Now, if you have uneven locks like me, you may have a little difficulty trying to get your hair into the knotted form, but it's okay. You can take your time. This is not a style that has to be perfect. Just stick those little babies in. Just take your time and get it, you know, the way that you need it to look. It's not going to be perfect and it's okay if it's not. Just tuck the little babies that you may have sticking out. Just tuck those in. All right, and it should look something like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is unravel the braid that I made for the bang. And I'm going to take that and just flip it over the big knot that I just created on top. And I'm going to mold it, sculpt it. So now what I'm going to do is take a section on each side. And I'm going to bring it over the hair that I just laid flat from flipping it on top. And I'm going to tie a knot over that hair, securing it down. Okay, so once you've tied a knot on top of your head, like so, okay, then you're going to take the end pieces of each side and you're going to loosely place it in the middle part of the back. Then you're going to take some more hair from each side and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to tie a knot over the hair that we just placed in the middle. It looks confusing, but it's going to come out looking so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to tie that down over that other braid and then put the pieces, the end pieces of that in the middle. And I'm also tucking in all the little baby locks that I uh, have sticking out. Next, I'm going to take another section and do the same thing again. Okay, tie a knot right over that area that I placed in the middle and secure it down with a knot. Okay, put that in the middle and gather another section of hair and do the same over that. What you're doing is creating a basket weave effect going down the back part of your hair. Okay. 
Okay, so I think I can go one more time. So I'm gonna make one more section on each side, tie it over the pieces that I laid in the middle part of my hair, and I'm going to create another knot right over that end piece and secure the bun, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my little rubber bands, okay? And I'm gonna put it like a little ponytail in the back part of my hair. Now I'm just making sure that there's no hair sticking out, any baby hairs sticking out and just tucking those in and securing the back part. Now what I'm gonna do is take the rest of my hair and tuck it underneath. Okay, inside the ponytail, underneath, I'm gonna tuck in all my uh, loose hairs, all the rest of my ponytail hairs, and make it nice and neat. And if your hair feels loose, you can secure it with a bobby pin. Bobby pin, hair pin, stick that in there, and secure it and this is what's securing the pieces that I stuck into my ponytail with a bobby pin now I'm gonna work on my edges okay I'm using some argan oil um, eco styler gel argan oil and I'm just gonna you know get these edges in shape they're very sparse Now I'm just gonna take my head tie and I'm gonna tie my hair down and get these uh, edges to lay flat in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, okay? And my edges are down. Now I'm just gonna secure that piece in the back with another hairpin and voila, the style is finished. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Hey fam, where are you going? You didn't subscribe yet. Well, listen, first of all, before you go, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget also to turn on that notification bell so this way you will not miss another one of my videos okay make sure that you hit that subscribe button click it and then hit that little bell and make sure that it's lit you will miss out on so much if you don't hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell next to it make sure that it's turned on so this way when I upload another video you will not miss it at all okay you will be the first to know. So don't forget, give me those likes, thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button along with the bell at the bottom, and you will always know when I upload another one of these videos, okay? So, I'll see you in the next video.